Not because I'm Asian. Maybe it's that too. But anyways, decided to work on the car. Um, I realized before I do a timing belt change, most likely want to get all those fluids out. So I'll drain the oil. And I'm like, might as well change the oil pan gasket because it seems like it leaks a lot. So I got a cork one and I'm taking off the bolts right now. And that's what's happening right now. I'm like slowly turning this this screw, that screw bolt out. It's gonna be a little while. A lot of guys are probably thinking, you should probably just probably just check jack up the car make it a whole lot easier well the car is on the driveway and it doesn't run so I can't really you know move it because it'd be hard to get it back up the driveway so we're doing it the hard way and afterwards like you can see some corrosion I don't know if you can see that some corrosion on the oil pan so I'm going to clean it off probably put some like I don't know. Maybe, maybe VHC tape or tape, paint it or a PUR, PUR paint it. We'll see what happens. Ripperino doing a new distributor cap and plugs. Bought these. These don't fit. Nothing wrong. These are for the GTS. I made a mistake. So now I gotta return these. Disappointment. Just coming along. New distributor cap and rotor. Just call me Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. <laughs> What's up, people? So, decided to put in my Kirkosaurus motor mounts in today and decided to. You know, why not switch the oil pan gasket out? You know, it's already leaky, so might as well do it. I'm doing it right now. Oil pan is out. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to put it back on. Whoever before used, oops, gasket maker on it. So, but I cleaned that off. And on the actual, on the engine, uh, cleaned that off too. But unfortunately, I broke one of the studs. So I gotta fix that. All right, guys. So there's a couple things I want to get done today. I'm gonna try to get this stud out, broken stud out of the exhaust manifold, or not exhaust manifold. What am I talking about? The downpipe. I have the broken stud that's still in the ES that I need to try to get out. And I'm also gonna try something new. I'm gonna try and paint the seats. So I know a lot of you guys may not like me or may not like that I'm doing this, but I'm gonna try. My color seat's black, because right now they're blue and I have black door panels. So I'm going to try and make the seats blue, or not blue, try to make the seats black. I'm gonna try to make the seats black, and also the rear seats, front and rear seats, black. Chairs are out for seats, seats. And time to vacuum, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of chose a bad day to do it. It's pretty windy outside. But, you know what? We're just going to go for it. Uh, I brushed the seats uh, just to get the fibers of the suede kind of perked up. Um, kind of break up with the loose dirt or the dirt. Loosen up the dirt that's within the seats. And, yeah, I'm probably going to do like four coats and we'll see how it goes very different color between the different areas so it's like it's purplish over here you know, it's like dark dark or not dark blue, but like it was much darker blue compared to that over here first coat is done on both seats of course as you can see it's not fully thin but it's only like very light sprays around but you can see already a noticeable difference in color 
uh, blue side pieces after one coat already look fully black, like very, very easily. Let's continue. Coat two. Coat two is done. So right now I'm gonna let the set the the seats sit for a while. Kind of let it sit for a little extra longer than the first coat. Um, and then I'm gonna come back to it. In the meantime, I'm gonna go get the rear seats and prep the rear seats for painting. Um, and then we'll come back and do our third coat. Much darker already. Uh, almost getting to the black. I might have to do more than four coats, but we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I'll just do a thicker, or well, obviously I'm gonna do a thicker third coat, but an even more thicker third and fourth coat. So in the meantime, while the seats are drying, <laughs> Woo. in the meantime, while the seats are drying, I'm connect reconnecting my CT26, yeah, 7M GT from the Supra. I did some painting and I had to modify this line right here to fit. So I cut this support off um, just so I could get it to stretch down right here because right here, this is the biggest limitation. Yeah, and I'm also just connecting some of the new hoses up. And once I get the bolt, the broken stud out of the oil pan, I could put new oil in it, put the down pipe on, and we should be able to start and see if it runs. Let's go. Go. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so it's about 7 o'clock now. And I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the day. Seats are off. Yeah, seats are about done. They're just drying right now. It's a little rough, so I'm going to brush it a little bit and kind of loosen up the uh, fibers again and get the suede nice and smooth. Um, I got the oil return lines back together on the turbo and I think I think it's about that yeah I got all the couplers back on all the hoses um, all I need is just the all I need is just the downpipe fix exhaust got to put coolant and radiator uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and I need to get the broken stud out of the oil pan. I think those are about the four main things. Other than that, just little things. I'm getting ready for car meets. And I gotta say, also, the seats look mint brand new. You couldn't even tell that they were blue before. I can't wait to reveal it to you guys. See you next time.